Hello, beloved family. Thank you for tuning in. Your host, Genevieve, greets you. Today, I want to give you an example of spiritual warfare. You need to be prepared for all-out psychical war against the Luciferians' plan. Please watch all the videos in the playlist so you will receive the knowledge and understanding to start praying. We need the guidance of the Holy Spirit in our everyday prayers. Also, we must learn how to pray in the Spirit and not in the flesh. If you are here for the first time, you are welcome to subscribe and do not forget to ding the bell to receive all notifications. Please let us know your thoughts in your comments and do not forget to like, share and subscribe if you did not do so. With your comments and likes, you are serving the kingdom of God. The more likes we have, the more people we reach with these necessary and uplifting teachings for all believers. If you need prayer, you can leave a comment or email us. The email is on the about wall for business inquiries. Here is what people need to be praying for. This will upset the majority of you feel good Sunday Christians, but it's what is required to rout out corruption perversion and bring these criminals in authority to justice. Remember, we are not fighting against flesh and blood. We are fighting against the demonic forces behind the people who are evil. We will not win the spiritual battle with guns and ammo. We will win the fight in prayer, praise, worship, and fasting. Brothers and sisters, this prayer is for all those who are advanced in spiritual warfare and God gives them more and more authority to destroy the works of the enemy. If you are just starting out, you can ask the Father to do what you pray for in the name of the Son. For example, Father, we ask you to bind all evil influence that is bothering my family. You can apply this prayer in any personal problem you have, whether at work, in the family, with an unconverted relative, with hereditary family problems, whether physical or spiritual. You can also pray for the world problem, governments, the armed forces, anyone up to the local mayor or city council. It is also for anyone involved in lawmaking or the enforcement of any law, media, those who work on television, etc. We also ask the Father, in the name of Jesus, to protect those who try to expose corruption and take charge of those who would try to harm them. Now, let's pray. God of heaven and earth, we present ourselves before you with thanksgiving. We praise and glorify your name, and we recognize that you are the true and only eternal God, who created the heavens and the earth. Dear God, in the name of Jesus, Please forgive me for all the times I have not submitted to your will in my life. Please forgive me for all my sinful actions, making agreements with the enemy and believing the devil's lies. I now submit to you as my Lord, dear Jesus. I ask the Spirit of our God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit to descend upon me. I speak Isaiah 54, 17, that no weapon formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. I dress with the armor of God that is your spiritual cloth to be placed as protection knowing that is a spiritual cloth that Satan and his army cannot see. I dress with the shield of faith to trust and believe in the unseen things of God and his promises and to quench the fiery darts of the enemy. I already believe that you have given me the victory in everything I ask the Father in the name of the Son. I dress with the breastplate of righteousness. I walk in justice and not in injustice to thwart condemnation and restore self-worth. I put the helmet of salvation as a seal for eternal life and as protection for the mind from the attacks of the enemy and uplift the sword of the Spirit the Word of God in my right hand as my weapon. I walk in truth, so I dress with the belt of truth to expose deception and to prevent the other garments from falling. Finally, I feed to be shod with preparing the gospel of peace as comfort, to remove all worries and burdens. Now I break every agreement that I have made with the enemy. Please, Lord Jesus, send an assignment of angels to remove and bind to the abyss all demons and their devices that had access to me because I believed their lies. I now ask you to establish a hedge of protection around me and under me and seal it with your blood. 
Dear Holy Spirit, we ask you to guide us in this prayer, guide us in how to pray, and show us the hidden things that our physical eyes cannot see. We pray according to your will and not ours. I take the spiritual authority of my country, state province, city, my neighborhood in the atmosphere where my physical eyes can reach. Also I take the spiritual authority in the heavens where the stars, planets, the moon, the sun, and the stars are the earth, and beneath the earth we stop all spiritual beings and those who inhabit physical beings by throwing them into the bottomless abyss and leaving them tied with chains of fire, we wait for the last of them to fall, and we close the pit with the purifying fire, consuming and consummating fire. We close each portal open by the children of the serpent with their packs and sacrifices, we ask for everything, and we make the name that is above all names of Jesus of Nazareth. Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus. We ask that you hear this prayer from those who dare to pray it. Father, there is so much corruption in our society and governments worldwide. And we know that Satan and Lucifer, the god of this world system, have many people in their control. Father, we also know that you have the power to stop what is happening and to open the eyes of those who are evil and corrupt. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you save them change them, move them. If they are not saved, we stop the influence of the darkness over them. We bind all demonic forces blinding them from the true gospel of Jesus 2 Corinthians 4 verses 3 to 5. We bind spirit of Jezebel and Leviathan that bring confusion and division. And finally, we ask that they accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, repent and confess their sins to the world in public. Father, we bind all demonic influences and forces that are in control of those who are saved by any ancestral demon or altered personality that has been established in past generations through pacts, curses, and witchcraft. Covenant spirits that come from the third and fourth ancestral generation and beyond and those that are in charge of the person. They are bound and bound thrown into the abyss in the name of Jesus. Father, if they won't come to Jesus or change their ways, we ask that you move them out of the way and render them incapacitated, render them powerless and mute, so they can't harm or cause harm to any more innocent people. Finally, Father, we pray for all those who are influenced by evil forces and do not want to change. We ask that you remove them from the path and disable them to do evil. Make them powerless and silenced so they can't harm or cause harm to more innocent people, even children and babies. All requests are made in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. So be it.